In this short video, we show you how to conduct a calibration of your impact subsea sensor. In this example, we're using an ISA 500 underwater altimeter with integrated attitude and heading reference system. The calibration process is exactly the same for all other impact subsea sensors. So we start off by looking at the main software display. We have our altitude distance shown here, temperature, heading pitch and roll, a little graphic just to show you how the altimeter is sitting at uh, any one point in time. Now for calibration purposes, to ensure your heading is as accurate as possible, you want to click on the settings button, in this case for ISA 500. You then want to scroll through the unit specific settings uh, for the acoustic setup, the communications, uh, altimeter comms, and then get onto the AHRS setup. At this point, you want to click on the calibrate button. This will bring up the calibration page. Now to conduct calibration, we want to turn it from test mode into calibrate mode and we want to start acquiring data. Now at this point, what you want to do is take your altimeter or other impact subsea sensor and move the sensor as much as you can. Ideally, you want to move the sensor through every single axis. So you want to rotate it up and down and to turn it side to side. And as you do so, you'll see uh, a number of points building up on the screen. And the more you move the sensor, the more points will be shown on the screen. What you're actually creating on the screen there is a sphere of points. And if you click on the graph at any one point, you can uh, click on it and rotate it round to check to see where you may need to move the, the sensor a little bit more to build up that sphere. The more complete the sphere, the better the calibration. Once you've completed the calibration and you're happy with the sphere on screen, click apply and the calibration will then be saved inside the sensor in the firmware and it's there forevermore regardless of power cycles.